Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to put in a table in, um, in a LaTeX document. So uh, you should start off by putting the document class, let it be article, and begin document, end document. To put in a table, what you need to start off by saying is begin and then uh, table. Now this is not really the most important part, the table thing, but it's recommended if you want to put a, say a caption or you want to uh, refer to this as a label. Right? If you want to do that, you have to put table in there. What's more important though is that you start off by saying begin tabula. Okay, so this is where the, where the actual table begins. Right? So I could have done done away, so I could have not used this begin table part, but it's highly recommended that you do. Okay, now suppose my table has three columns in there. So I'm going to put in L, uh, L, and L. Okay, so left justified, left justified, left justified. And these, these lines are saying that's the, that's how my columns are. So I have three columns in this case. If I want, to, if I want one more column, it's a simple matter of doing that. Okay, and I hope you get the idea. Um, so to put in, my, put in the contents of this thing, I'm going to go ahead and type in H1 uh, and H2 and H3. Okay, so heading one, heading two, heading three. And then to go to the next row, same as equations, I just go double slash, and then I'll just put my contents A and B and C. So basically this ampersand sign, the and sign, is the column separator. Uh, the double slash is the row separator. So let me let me run this. I'll show you what, what I get. Run it with my PDF. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, so that there's my three columns, but what, what's really missing is the horizontal lines, right? So this is what's really painstaking about this. You have to go back and put in uh, this thing called H-line. So go slash H-line, okay? And then you need to put it in each row. And then for the last row, you need to put in a new, new line just so that you can get the uh, last line in there. And then build in this. Uh, sorry, I need to press with PDF. Okay, so there you go. All right, and also coming back to here, if you want the table centered in your PDF, you need to write centering. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Um, also, an, another comment, so this, this can be left uh, center or right justified, but also suppose you, uh, suppose you want to control how big, how big um, the column sizes you want it to be. So, so P for paragraph and then say five centimeters. Okay, so in this case, if I say uh, this is the size of my column, now it'll limit it to five centimeters. So in fact, I'll make it even smaller. I'll say it's two, right? It'll go on to the next, it'll go on to the next uh, row if it, if it needs to. So build this one and build a PDF. So if I can find where it is. Okay, so, yeah, sorry about that. So this is the size of my column, all right? So basically now it's limited to two centimeters. All right, so and then to do that, you just do P instead of a left, center, or right justified and put in the size of the column. Okay, now that was the slowest method that you could possibly do with a, to insert a table. Now there's a much f uh, quicker way, and then, and to do that we need to use a package, and the package is called uh, CSV simple. Use package CSV simple. Now, not like m uh, not everyone would have this in your in your system by default. So if you don't, what I want you to do is search for Google for CSV simple, and then there's a CTAN repository, right? So if you go to CTAN. So, so in, in my case, it was a second uh, in Google search. And once you get here, so you have a CSV simple uh, SDY, the style template, I guess. Um, and from here, download CSV simple.sty, right? So just this one. So copy and paste this into a text file or whatever you want to do. But just download this one and put it into your folder. Okay, if you can't see, I'll just zoom in. So it's, it's simply the CSV simple.sty. Okay, coming back to coming back to what we were doing. 
Now I, I've made a test. Uh, I, made, I made a test uh, test CSV file, so I'll show that what it looks like before I put it in. Go OK. All right, so it's, there you go. So it's simply three columns and three rows. Oh, oops. Okay, so I'm supposed to do there. Now, come back here. All I need to do is simply one line, and that's to go uh, CSV auto tabula. CSV auto tabula. And then um, inside curly brackets, include put the name of your CSV. So test.csv file. So let's run this. Quick build right, and we my PDF. So there you go. Oops, okay, so now it's done something funny. Um, I think because I changed my file. So, yeah, anyway, so come back to this thing. Just put in CSV auto tabular test.csv. It should come out properly. Uh, I think I messed, messed around with the settings, um, but most of the time it will work. Ah, that's probably why. That's probably why. Just let me redo this. Okay, so I put it in the wrong place. Okay, build it again. With my PDF. No, no. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, that was my mistake. I'll I'll try and check what it is. But um, yeah, in most systems, it it will work. So thanks for that, and uh, let me know if you have any trouble. Thanks.